Welcome to another tech help video brought to you by AccessLearningZone.com. I am your instructor, Richard Rost. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to display images from the web in your Microsoft Access forms and reports using the image control. Today's question comes from Fernando in Tucson, Arizona, one of my Platinum members. Fernando says, I download a monthly spreadsheet from my parts supplier that has updated pricing and such. One of the fields they give me is a URL to the product's picture on their website. Is there a way I can display that picture in my access forms and reports? Well, yes, Fernando. In fact, a little while ago, I did a video called Online Images. And in this video, I show you how to use the web browser control to display pretty much anything you want, any web page or a picture online using the web browser control. Well, in today's video, I'm going to show you how to do it using the image control, which has some major benefits over using the web browser. We'll talk about those benefits a little later, but let me first show you how this works. Now, I do have this marked as a developer level tech help, so you will need a little bit of VBA programming. If you've never done any VBA programming before, don't be scared. Go watch this video. There's a link to it down below. You can click on it. It's about 20 minutes long. It teaches you everything you have to know to get started with VBA. Also, if you haven't watched my regular images video, go watch this first. Very important. In this video, I show you how to take images from your hard drive and display those in your access forms and reports. Well, on today's video, what we're essentially going to do is we're going to go out to the web, grab that file, save it. We're going to download it to a file on our local drive and then display that for the customer's picture or the product's picture or whatever picture you want to use. Okay, here I am in my Tech Help free template. This is a free download. You can grab a copy off my website if you want to. And before we get started today, we're going to need to copy some source code off my website as well. I'm going to make it free for everybody. You can grab a copy of it. This isn't something you're going to want to have to retype. I don't want to have to retype it, so just copy it off my website. You'll find a link in the description down below the video. It's called, it's called URL Download to File. You're going to click right here on the Copy button. That'll copy it to your clipboard. We're going to come back to our database. We're going to create a module. All right, here we are in the code editor, and just paste in that code. Boop, there you go. Now, this is designed for 64-bit access. If you don't have 64, if you got 32-bit, just delete that word pointer safe right there. Now, this guy up here, this big, huge thing that starts off with public declare, blah, 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 right? This is a function straight from Microsoft called URL download to file. Essentially, you specify a URL, which is a fully formed web page address, mm -hmm. and then it will download that file from the web to your local PC. And I wrote a little helper function right here called my download, where we're going to specify that URL and then save it to whatever file you want on your local hard drive. I'm going to put mine in G my drive test.jpg. In fact, I'm going to change mine just slightly. I was playing around earlier. I got G my drive. I made an images folder and I put Captain Kirk in there. So I'm going to delete Captain Kirk and we're going to change my folder to images. All right. So come back here in the source code. We're going to make this my drive images and then test.jpg. Okay. And honestly, it doesn't matter what kind of file you're downloading. It could be a JPEG, a GIF, a PNG, a bitmap. It doesn't matter. All right. Access won't care. The, the, the file extension really doesn't matter. But that's okay. Just ignore that for now. So make this a valid folder on your computer where you can save a file, your desktop or wherever you want to put it. So what we're going to do is we're going to call the my download function, send it a URL. That's going to be any picture online you want to grab. Okay. There's the local file. Now result equals URL download to file. What that's going to do is this is going to go out to the web. It's going to find that URL, whatever picture you specify. It's going to save it in the local file that you specify. And the result is going to be a zero if it's successful, in which case my download, the name of the function, will return that local file name. Otherwise, if it's not successful, if it's not able to download that file, it'll return an empty string, in which case nothing will happen. But all you have to know how to do is simply call my download, and then I'll tell you how to do that in just a second. Are you ready? Okay. Save this. Let's call this download mod. 
And now let's go back over here. Let's go to our customer form. Now this is going to work very similarly to what we did with our regular images. In fact, I'm going to get rid of all of this stuff here. We don't need it for this example. All right, let's insert an image control. Don't use this one. Remember from the other video, use this guy. Image right out of the toolbox. Drop it right there. Okay, cancel this. And there's our blank image control. Now, I'm going to cheat. I don't want to have to add another field. I'm just going to use the email address field as the address for the picture. Okay, everybody with me? I'm going to change it over here. All right, image. But we're going to cheat and say the email field has the image file. In it. Okay, okay. So we're all on the same page. Let's open this guy up. Give me its properties. I don't like image 30. Let's call that my image. All right, now for the control source, we're going to use that my download function that we just specified a minute ago equals my download open parenthesis and then what's the URL what's the field that's gonna have the picture for this guy in it well we're cheating email normally you put in there like you know picture URL or whatever it's gonna be okay okay got it everybody with me all right let's save it control s let's close this all down all right open it up now right at that second Access is trying to find the URL amicron at gmail.com. It doesn't exist. Let's put a picture URL in here. Okay, now I know from previous classes I've got some image files on my website in the images folder. There's Kirk. I'm just going to copy that. Come in here and let's paste that in my image field for that customer. Oh, and look at that. See what happened? The my download function was called and that picture was grabbed off my website, saved on the hard drive with the URL download to file function, and now it's being displayed right here. And if I go check on my hard drive, look at that. There's test.jpg. That's Captain Kirk. All right, let's do another one. All right, I put Captain Kirk in for me. That's okay. We'll skip him. Um, I know I've got one for Picard, too. Let me go to my website here. And I'm pretty sure he's right there. There he is, picard.jpg. All right, let's copy that, come back over here, paste it in the image field and tab, and there he is, handsome devil. And if I check my folder, look at that, it updated. Same file, but it updated. Now, can you save each of these individually based on the customer ID? Yeah, sure you could. And there are some other benefits and some other reasons why you want to use the image control instead of the web browser control. I mentioned at the top of the video that I'd tell you what that is. Well, the major benefit is the web browser control cannot be used in a continuous form. So if you want to display multiple images, either in a form or a report, you've got to use the image control, not the web browser control. So in the extended cut for the members, I'm going to show you how to download each of these and save them based on that customer ID in an images folder. Then I'll show you how to display them in a continuous form. And then I'll show you another trick where we can do something very similar, but we don't have to save the file. We can just use our browser's image cache. That's really pretty cool, all right? So that's all covered in the extended cut for the members. Silver members and up get access to all of the extended cut videos. Gold members can download these databases. But I hope that shows you how to download an image from the website and display it in your access forms and reports. Reports work the same way. Just put the same control in, put the same function in it. It'll work just fine. Of course, if you have any questions or comments, feel free to post them down below. I hope you enjoyed. hope you learned something. And I'll see you next time. If you enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up and post any comments you may have. I do try to read and answer all of them as soon as I can. Make sure you subscribe to my channel, which is completely free, and click on the bell icon to select all to receive notifications when new videos are posted. Make sure you click the show more link down below the video to find additional resources and links. You'll see a list of other videos, additional information related to the current topic, free lessons, and lots more. YouTube no longer sends out email notifications when new videos are posted, so if you'd like to get an email every time I post a video, click on the link to join my mailing list. Even if you don't want to become a member, feel free to donate to my tip jar. 
Your patronage is greatly appreciated and will help keep these free videos coming. I got puppies to feed. How do you become a member? Click on the join button below the video. After you click the join button, you'll see a list of all the different membership levels that are available, each with its own special perks. Silver members and up will get access to all of my extended cut tech help videos, one free beginner class each month, and more. Gold members get access to download all of the sample databases that I build in my tech help videos, plus my code vault, where I keep tons of different functions that I use. You'll also get a higher priority if you decide to submit any tech help questions to me, and you'll get one free expert class each month after you finish the beginner series. Platinum members get all the previous perks, plus even higher priority for tech help questions, access to all of my full beginner courses for every subject, and one free developer class each month after you finish the expert classes. These are the full length courses found on my website, not just for access to. I also teach Word, Excel, Visual Basic, and lots more. You can now become a diamond sponsor and have your name or company name listed on a sponsors page that will be shown in each video as long as you're a sponsor. You'll get a shout out in the video and a link to your website or product in the text below the video and on my website. But don't worry, these free tech help videos are going to keep coming. As long as you keep watching them, I'll keep making more and they'll always be free. Now, if you have not yet tried my free Access Level 1 course, check it out now. It covers all the basics of Microsoft Access. It's over four hours long, and I just updated it for 2021. You can find it on my website or on my YouTube channel. I'll include a link below that you can click on. And also, if you like Level 1, Level 2 is just $1. Yep, that's all, $1, and it's free for all members of my YouTube channel at any level, even supporters. Want to have your question answered in a video just like this one? Visit my tech help page on my website, and you can send me your question there. While you're on my site, feel free to stop by the Access Forum. Lots of good conversations happening there. Be sure to follow my blog, find me on Twitter, and of course, YouTube. Once again, my name is Richard Ross. Thank you for watching this tech help video brought to you by AccessLearningZone.com. I hope you enjoyed this video and that you learned something today. I'll see you again soon.